Hi guys and welcome back to my beauty inventory series for 2018. It is the next Saturday which means this is next installment. I do do these every single Saturday just for time and making sure I don't fall behind on other videos. Um, if you watched my last one, then you saw that I go, I'm go. i going by brand instead of color. I kind of went back and forth for that, uh, but I did decide to do brand. Um, you also saw like some of the top coats and base coats in that segment, so I'm not going to go over those again. Um, and then again, if you watched it, you will know that I have 64 nail polishes, way too many for one person, but I'm not a person that can declutter. This is not a decluttering series. This is, I want to see what I have, and so I don't want to purchase anymore because when I went through that number um, I was like I cannot purchase anymore and I realized that I'm um, just by them like being up and on display I realized that I have a lot but just seeing that number 64 and realizing especially with my project polish that I went through six or seven last year which is really good um, but then that would mean I would take 10 years to get through my whole nail polish collection so obviously I don't need to purchase any um, nail polishes if that's going to take me that long to get through them. Um, I did take a lot of breaks last year with my project polish so I'm hoping this year I can get through more but in case I don't or you know I don't want to, you know, be that worried about nail polishes. I don't need this many in general. So, we are going to go by brand. The third installment is the one that I'm going to tell you what brand I'm going to get because when I'm all done, there is one brand as of right now that I'm going to one or two brands. I really want uh, we'll, we'll get through that in the we'll get to that in the third one but basically um there's different colors I want, but the brand that I do want has all the colors. So, um, I'll probably talk about if I want that color eventually in my collection. So like I said, we're going to start with brands. We're going to start with OPI. Um, and I have two like Nicole by OPIs and two like regular OPIs. So um, the Nicole by OPI that I purchased was the Urine Angel. So just like a pink sparkly one peachy pink sparkly one and then I think someone gave this to me and this is an OPI be amazing so it's a uh, more of a purpley pink um, nail polish but that's what these two look look like and then um, these two this first little pink one someone gave it to me for Christmas last year I believe and I'm not sure the name of it because it's just this little pink sample OPI so I don't think it's going to take me very long to get through but that's where I'm at with that one and then I just won this oh this is China Glaze I didn't even realize it I looked at it really quickly China Glaze it's okay I don't have any other China Glaze so we'll just put it here but I just won this yesterday at a bridal shower so um and I said you can give it to someone else and they said you won so anyways this is Ruby Pumps so it's a red sparkly color. I don't have anything similar to this. I don't have anything similar to this. So we'll see how it goes. I do want like a darker color and a red. So we'll see what um, this looks like. Probably not anytime soon, but eventually. The next we'll do is e.l.f. I have two of them. I have e.l.f.'s metal madness and I do like these when I've tried them um, a lot and then this is elf's nude I believe so I do like these um, and yeah this is ones that I probably won't be working on in my project polish for a while last segment was like the ones I'm gonna be working on um, the soonest this is kind of like my next ones after that maybe and then my third installment is ones that I want to keep forever, but I can't. Um, like, I want to work through those last because they're, like, the newest and the ones um, that I really like and enjoy. So I start with ones I don't like because I can't declutter, to be in all honesty, unless it just doesn't work. Um, we'll go next to these two I got in my birch box. And I don't get birch box anymore for different reasons but this was definitely one of them I, they sent me nail polishes which i liked but i couldn't get through them in the month and they just kept accumulating so this is the roofin in fox hunt and hedge fund and this month i ended up getting both because my box broke um and so they sent me double everything so anyways but that's what they look like i like them when i've worn them but 
haven't had a ton of chance because I'm trying to work through um, because I have so many. So that's why I'm trying to work through them so I have time to work, like actually use the ones I like. So we're going to go to SC, which is the one. This is the last brand in this section that has like more than one. So I have Essie's Watermelon, which I love this color. I love bright pinks and like corals. Um, so it's definitely a color I'd love in my final collection. Um, another color that I really like is Turquoise. Turquoise and Caicos. I love this color. Mint colors. Love them. And then I do like this. I like pretty much all my SE colors that I have. Um, I got them more more recently so I picked them out and like I understood myself a little bit more um, and this is chinchilla so gray and I love gray in general and I love this color and then I have a top coat in set in stones from Essie so it just looks like this it's gorgeous love it the other two I guess this is not yeah I guess it's called a top coat but the other two top coats are like additions or whatever is this um, sparkly one from Bon Bons. I've had this one forever and it's just a purple sparkle so it just looks like that. I probably need to keep this out so when I want to use it I can I go look at it and the other one is something that was really big a few years ago and I'll probably keep it just to see if it comes back or if I want to wear it because I think it looked really cool. It was a Sally Hansen crackle overcoat so it just look like that. So it just made a really cool design on your nails. So I might end up using this um, like on nails and see how it works, like on an accent nail or something. But so there's that. Then I have one from Ulta in this peachy pink color. And it's in Peach Parfait. So it's like a creamy one. And then I have NARS Super Orgasm. So it looks very similar, but it has more chunky glitters. So it looks, just looks like this. I have so many. This gets me so excited when I do these, like, to do it. And I'd say that in almost every video that I film like this because it does. Like, I'm like, oh, I want to use that tomorrow. Uh, and then this is a black nail polish. I wanted a black nail polish, and I just went with this. I probably should have gone with one that had a little bit more lasting power. This one isn't, like, super great. But it's by CQ in Night. So it just looks like this. Just a black, straight black. Then I have the Miss Pedicure in red. It's one of my only true reds. I have this one and another one, I believe, that are like a true red. And I have two orangish reds. And then, then, then I have this L'Oreal in, in the buff. Yeah, in the buff. It just looks like this. So I have used quite a bit of that. So it's down to there, you can see. And then I have this um, magnetic nail lacquer. So again, kind of uh, makes your nails look really cool with a magnet and things. Maybe just I think once or twice. So anyways, there's that. And that was the last of those 20 nail polishes. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for subscribe so you can see next Saturday's nail polish which will be my last installment of my nail polishes and the brand I want to keep forever and I hope you enjoyed definitely check out last week's nail polishes to see the ones I'm more focused on painting this year I guess and just I don't know it kind of depends I think I talked about that a little bit but I want these videos to be super long so I'll talk to you later bye